morning. Good morning from Cape Canaveral. We are about to board the cruise ship here in the next little while, and I'm so excited. Here it is. It is a massive ship. They're gonna shrink us down and put us on it. Yeah, inside the little sushi. Yeah. <laughs> um, we are going on the Mardi Gras, sailing to the Eastern Caribbean, and I am so ecstatic. We haven't been on a cruise in a really long time. Like literally, like a month or two ago, we were like, let's go. Let's do it. So, yeah, the last cruise we went on, and the only cruise I've been on, was right after our first trip to Disney World. Yeah. And we do have a small little vlog of that. So, we'll go ahead and link that in the description below so you guys can check that out. I think we're going to do a little bit more vlogging this time when we're on the cruise. I think so. But sometimes it's hard to vlog a little bit on the cruise. Yeah, because you're always like either in the ocean, like swimming, or like swimming on the it's yeah. kind of hard to like, carry a camera around, but we're gonna Especially because now we have the GoPro. Oh yeah, we've got our GoPro. So, but I wanna show you guys the little fun features of the cruise on the model cruise ship that they have right here, but then we'll show you them in person too. So our room is gonna be somewhere right around there. Oh yeah, I think that's our pool, that little one. Oh, okay. So, or that might be a jacuzzi. Yeah, I don't know. The, the, <laughs> The area that we're staying has its own private like bar and pool, so this might be it right here. Yeah. So like we'll have access to this level, right. which is going to be really exciting. Yeah. Up here is like the main pool with like the smaller restaurants that they have inside. There's nice hot tubs on both sides. Here's the really big pool. Oh yeah, that's like where they do all the dancing and like play movies. And yeah. Stuff. They also have like a little uh, ropes course up here at the top. Yeah, I did one once, it was really scary. There's the uh, basketball court. This is like so much going on. This is a roller coaster because Mardi Gras is the newest ship. We got a roller coaster. And they have water slides and a roller coaster and they also have like mini balls and I think a little basketball court, all kinds of stuff. And then of course some more like hot tubs and another pool in the back along with this pool in the back too, which I also think that might be part of that Havana area too. Because it's on the same floor. Yeah. We got called. Get on the ship, there it is. Ooh, that's a big ship. What are they putting on it? Oh, Fuel. or what are they taking off is the real question. I don't want to know. <laughs> we found the sushi. We're here. Okay, first things first. We gotta go to our mustard station so that we can get our turkey sandwiches. Yep, and we have to do the safety class. Welcome to the Lido deck. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for the pool. Just kidding. It is like 64 degrees right now. There's the red frog tiki bar. Where's where's Shaq's chicken? We're gonna start our eating with the steamed dream because they have some pork dumplings. We also have some chili cheese dog fries. Look how awesome these are. Some pork dumplings, and I got some hot dog chili cheese fries, but it has cilantro on top. Yeah. That seems weird. The curly fries are amazing. The chili and the cilantro is interesting. But the fries are really crispy. Yeah, I don't think I'm a big fan of the topping either. I would have just, if I did it again, I would just get the fries. Quack, quack. This is the Shaq's chicken. We just got the regular chicken sandwich. Yeah. Um, and then this is barbecue ranch. And I got another like barbecue sauce. But these are like, a combination of a fry and a chip. Yeah, when I, I ate one and it has really good seasoning, but I was like, why is it so thin? Yeah. But it's good. Good. That's good barbecue sauce. Good ranch, too. Let's try this sandwich. This has like, um, I think like Shaq's chicken version of Chick-fil-A sauce. Ooh, yum. I didn't realize it was 
that is basically Chick-fil-A. When there's Chick-fil-A on the cruise ship, oh, I know where I'll be eating every day. That is amazing. It's really juicy. That's good. Yeah, it like a Chick-fil-A sandwich would be. And where it just has like the pickle and the like chicken sauce. You're gonna have to go eat your own. Now for the small one's big bite. I think our room That's good. Really good, huh? Mm -hmm. It's not it's not quite Chick-fil-A, but it's very close. Oh we found the guy's burgers too. What you do on a cruise is eat. All the time. <laughs> we didn't like the little like street foods that we got, so we only ate like a little bit of a chicken sandwich. So we're like, we're still hungry. So we got burgers. Yes, and this is Guy's Burgers, and they look amazing. Mm -hmm. Last time we had a Guy's Burger was at Planet Hollywood. Oh yeah. And nice. that was a really good burger. Mm -hmm. It was the was it mac and cheese burger? Mm-hmm. Oh. Man. And since we've been walking around, I had a gelato. Oh yeah. <laughs> Usually they only have ice cream, and this one had gelato, and I had this gelato, so smooth, delicious. Yes, I settled for some soft serve ice cream. We're definitely eating our weight this month, this month, this week. We're on this for a Could month? you imagine a month cruise? No, I would rule, glad you'd have to roll me Yeah. Out. <laughs> anyway, I went with a guy's burger. I made it plain so that I could just top it myself. Zoe added some mushrooms to hers, it looks like. I have, I think it's donkey sauce, lettuce, tomato, onion, and then I added mushrooms. Oh, yum. Yum, yum, yum. We are gonna eat our burgers here, and then we might find a room, I think, after, just to yeah. see where it's at. Um, I think we can get into our room in about a half hour, 45 minutes. It's 12.40 and they said not until after 1.30, but sometimes they're ready early. So it might be ready actually pretty soon. Yeah. So uh, we'll catch you up with you guys when we're heading down to our room. We're on the elevator heading down. This is like a trippy elevator because all of the doors are glass. I know, it kind of makes me sick to look at it. Because like you can see the other one. Here is the sign leading to our stateroom. So we're in the Havana staterooms and suites. So we have this private area. This is the Havana bar. This is nice. And our room is this way. Let's go check it out. So down the hallway, it's called the Havana, like suites. Mm -hmm. So everything has to do with Cuba, oh, which is I really cute. Well, it's really cool. It's cute. A bunch of different cities. Would you call these like pinups? Kind of, yeah, like that kind of style. We are way down at the hall. Are we? We're at the very end. At the very end? Yes. <laughs> they are still getting the staterooms ready right now. They said technically they shouldn't be ready until about 1.30. Mm -hmm. But we can get our room keys yeah. and our envelope and everything, um, which should have our wristband so we can go out and see the private balconies and the private pool. What number are we? We are 8219, right there. Is that room It could be. We're at the very That's end of the closed. hall. There we go. I do not know how to pronounce that city. Something. Yep, that's us. A room opened. You got to put the key in for power. Look at and here we are. Room. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know if we're allowed to be in here right now, guys, but we're in here. <laughs> well, I mean, it's our room. Oh, it's so cute. Wow, look. We have fancy towels. Oh, yeah, we do. Havana, Havana experience. Oh, this might be our wristbands. I think it is. Oh, look. The Havana experience. Mr. and Mrs. Zoe. Mr. and Mrs. Zoe. That's us? Yeah. We have all kinds of drawers to put your stuff in. It's a tiny fridge. That's nice. Last time we didn't have a fridge. This is cute room. Yeah, so really cute. we did pay a little bit extra to stay in the Havana rooms, Yeah. but not much. Yeah, not we much. actually got a such a great rate. Um, so if you guys have been on Carnival Cruises before, you'll be part of the VIFP club that they have, mm -hmm. and they'll send you emails and they'll give you discounted rates. I think even if you just signed up for their emails, you'll still be a VIFP club member. I think so. Even if you haven't been on a cruise before. Yeah. But Zoe is now going on her fourth cruise. I'm only going on my second, so she is a little bit higher up in the program than yeah. I am. 
but the more cruises you go on the more benefits and perks you can get from that but this is actually really nice i like this i like how it's more of a square like wider usually the rooms are like longer. narrower i like this a lot like yeah it feels very spacious for a cruise oh he's always finding some lights that's nice just like a little night light i guess but look it's very it bright points that way. well i think it's if you like put it downwards so oh, you like you can like read a book over there yeah plug in your charger and then in here is the bathrooms. Well, that's a nice bathroom. It is a nice bathroom. What's it's so shower? modern. It's actually on the right. Oh, dang, it's tiny. Yeah. You can put one foot in the shower. One foot in the shower. <laughs> I will say, yes, this bathroom does seem a little bit smaller than the last, the last one. one. But the bedroom seems a little bit bigger. It reminds me of an airplane. I've never used the restroom on an airplane. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fun, fun fact for everyone. Look at this. It, like rotates. Nice. What else is in there? Nothing. Nothing Got the else. mirror. Yeah, some towels. Toilet. A little soap. It has like shampoo. A little sink. Or shower gel in there. In case you forgot or you ran out. Yeah. I'm gonna have Zoe hop out and I'm gonna come in with the camera. There's me. Hello, me. Um, some bar soap. Yeah, it definitely is smaller. Ooh. Whoa, I like that though. Like the door sinks into the shower yeah. so that it kind of conserves space. So that's nice. Definitely a smaller size shower, which they usually are on the cruise ships. But overall, the modernness of this ship is incredible. <laughs> oh, oh, we got the Havana Experience robes. <laughs> Just walk around the ship like this. Zoe's now getting cozy. Zoe just wants to know everyone uh, that we're staying in the Havana rooms. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> That's a big closet. I know, and look, even bigger. And has like a little safe, little rack for Rolling your shoes racks. or whatever. Does this one? This comes out too, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, maybe that's for your shoes. Really? That is so nice. This little thing folds down. Does it? Yeah. How? Push that up and then pull that down. Oh, so it's an extra shelf. So it shelf. could be an extra shelf if you have really like nice. smaller clothes. Really nice. Hangers. And then of course Zoe found the robes. Yep. Nice floor length mirror. And that's my robe. Mm-hmm. I am actually really impressed with this room. Me too. I like this room. I definitely think that so far the Havana room is nicer than a regular room. Yeah. For sure. However, I don't necessarily know that because maybe all the rooms are nicer because it's a newer ship. True. Oh, no one that we're cruising with has a regular room either. We're all in the Havana deck, so we won't know. That's all right. I'm just excited for the Havana. I'm excited for this cruise. Me too. It's going to be such an amazing time. I'm so excited. I love this door. <laughs> Zoe's opening up our envelope. Oh, you get... Nice. Ooh, is that the wristband? Yeah, it so is. we've got some Havana Experience wristbands. I thought it'd be more like a wristband, like one of those ones that, you know, like at the um, after hours events. Like, oh, yeah. Like what we got at Boobash. It's a little rubber like, bracelet. Yeah, that's nice. That is nice. I like it. What I want to do, though, is go to the casino. Oh, yeah. Because typically the casino will actually hand out, uh, like, free lanyards. Yeah. So that we can put our little cards on a lanyard because so we, we forgot to bring them and so it's very handy to have them with you yeah because um, you need it for pretty much everything yeah i mean like getting on and off the ship you need them you need them to get in your room if you yeah. want to order drinks you can with your card yeah um anything that you get at the casino or play at the casino is all through your card as well everything's on the card so which is dangerous but it's also very convenient because you yeah. don't have to walk around with your wallet or anything else right. on your you body in the room for the rest of the time now that we have our wristbands we're gonna head out to the havana deck oh. push <laughs> My bad. that's all right i was like oh no never mind we're not going out we can we just oh it is very bright outside and so windy wow it's beautiful out here this is so nice. Look, this is what Graham has. We're cruising with Graham. She has one of these cool balconies in her room. Yeah, so we can definitely, they're like all private, all the way down. Our room's all the way to the very end. Ours is actually the last room at the end. 
without a balcony. Well, after the time <laughs> gets here, we'll have to come and check out. Her yeah, place. it is so beautiful out here, though. It's nice right here. It's it nice is. Anyway. It's, more it's kind of blocked. I think the wind's more like coming from, like the water side of things. What, what do you call that? The port side. Port Stop side. I don't know. It's that side of the ship where all the, the water is or where the ocean's at. That's where it's get really breezy. Is it sushi? Oh yeah, that is the sushi. We call it the sushi because it looks like a sushi. It really, it's the lifeboat. So, if we ever were sinking, we'd have a life-saving sushi. They have all of these chairs all the way down. Oh. And that down there is the private like jacuzzi tub. This is so nice because this is... sometimes it's really hard to like find a chair. So maybe oh, yeah. over here to like your private There's section. less, definitely. Yeah. There's also a couple different seating areas over here, along with the outdoor bar. Is that a towel? It is. It's a towel octopus. That's impressive. It's like Mardi Gras. Here's the nice seating area over here. I think that's the hot tub. Or is it a pool? Oh, it says pool rules. I think it's a hot tub though. I don't know. I'm not sure either. Yeah. And then this is just incredible. These are just like elaborate towel animals. I love these. And they're all dressed up for Mardi Gras. More of the Havana Experience towels. Oh, that's a nice view from there. Wow. Like, you have glass over there. Yeah. And it's up higher. So if you were like out in the middle of the ocean, you can see. Is it really just nice. like shallow? Like very so. shallow? I think it might, Three. Be, it might be Three feet four inches is what it looks like. That's it? So it's kind of like a little waste pool. Oh, okay. That's very nice. I am so excited to like see that view and like be in the Caribbean and oh, it's gonna be so fun. Oh, it looks like there's a private restroom over here too. Yeah. Wow, they also have rooms on the very end. You're at the very front of the ship. Wow and you have so much space to yourselves. Even this one's a little bit bigger than the other balcony rooms. Yeah, they're nice. What's down there? I don't know. Looks like another bar. Looks like it's not open yet. I don't think so. Wow. I wish I could go stand on there. On the very Look how beautiful it is out there. It is. I'm excited to get out on the ocean. That Florida ocean. Oh yeah. The boat. I love it. Now we're on the back side from where we just were and it is so windy now because we're closer to the water. Yeah, it's very windy over here. I think your hand is almost the same size. Pretty close. Not even close. Mine's not either. First towel animal of the trip. Looks like we have a nice polar bear. Um, our housekeeper, his name is Gaday. He was very, very nice. Um, he'll get us taken care of. Um, they are really accommodating here. So they typically will like cater to your every need if you need that. Um, but yeah, so we, I think this is a polar bear. Stay in that line, and I need you to copy me, but I need you to snap, snap it out. Let's see that snap, sir, snap. Okay, <laughs> that was a bad start. We're about to set sail here in the next few minutes, and so we are on the front of the ship. I feel it. It's rumbling. It's rumbling. No, seriously, you can see like perfectly off the front. It's all glass right here, so we're gonna watch us sail away. I'm excited. Hi, Florida coast. Hello, beautiful ocean. We're headed to San Juan. We are all set and ready to go to dinner. It's, oh, Whoa. the boat is rocking. Really bad. <laughs> so far, we're not feeling sick. Yeah, so just kind of like busy because of the rocking, but I think yeah. we'll be okay. Um, we'll probably catch up with you guys later. I think we're gonna go watch a couple of shows. And yeah. Just kind of hang out tonight. Uh, but we will come back and we will show you some delicious pizza later on. Last we left off, we said we were might show you some pizza. Yeah, but we didn't. We forgot. Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> um, so sorry. Yeah. 
I don't think we thought the whole vlogging the cruise through very well. No, we were just kind of having fun. <laughs> we had a great time. Yeah. I think the issue really was just carrying the camera around right. with all of the food that we had in our hands. Yeah, the whole time. <laughs> the entire time. Um, the food was fantastic. Mm -hmm. The entertainment on the cruise was so much fun. Yeah. Uh, we had a blast at a lot of the comedy shows. Mm -hmm. um, the ports, I think, were a little disappointing. I Yeah, but I, I don't know. For me, going on a cruise isn't so much about like where you go. It's more about like being on the boat yeah. and doing the fun stuff on the ship, like the comedy and all the little entertainment and stuff like that. Yeah. You know? I definitely agree with that. Um, we didn't go on excursions, and I no. think that would have been different. Right. However, we didn't really find anything that we thought was really worth the time and the money. There right. were a couple things that we wanted to do, but they were just pretty expensive. Yeah. Um, but overall, we had such an amazing cruise. It was really fun. And we will continue to show the couple other vlogs after this one of us on the cruise ship. Yeah. Um, we do have a couple more for you guys, but we wanted to just be able to close out this vlog, and we didn't really close out the cruise either. So I guess we're doing that. Kind of, now? In, yeah, kind of in the first video. <laughs> so we apologize about that. I think the next cruise that we go on, we'll sacrifice more of the food <laughs> and we'll do some more <laughs> vlogging. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, we're hoping the next cruise we do will be a different yeah. cruise. So. Well, the other thing too is we love spending time with our family. Yeah. And I think sometimes when we have the camera, we don't always get to do that. Right. Um, so I think that's why it might be a little disjointed as well, just because we do have family with us or we had family with us at the time. Right. And we wanted to be able to spend that time with them too. Right, because they were going back home out of state as soon as the cruise was yeah. over. But we did have an amazing time. Um, yeah. Hopefully you guys do enjoy these videos of the cruise. Um, if you do, don't forget to give them a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos because we will see you guys in the next one.